All right, in the last video, we skipped some of our models because they are going to be structured in a different way. As you can see, we just did the simpler ones very easily. These ones involve just has mini and uh, has uh, belongs to. So, but then we have a, a little more complex one that has and belongs to. So a user, in this case, can have many tasks and a task and many tasks and a task can belong to many users you understand so um, a user can log in and create task one task two task three task four and then somebody can create task one and add seven users to one task you understand so that's a different kind of relationship so to do that uh, we will specify that user belongs to many so a task belongs to many users all right so that's how we do it but not not on this model we we'll do it on the task model so we tell a task that um, you belong to many users and Laravel will automatically, once it says belongs to many, to look for a model named task user, a table in a database named in alphabetical order and join with an underscore called task user. If we look at our database, we'll see task user. So this is what uh, Laravel will look at automatically. But then if you didn't name yours following that convention, you can just simply say uh, that relationship is being held together by a table called brrr in the database so this is just basically a table that laravel will instead check out for so if this field is left blank laravel will look for a table that joins um, task a table called task and that one called user that are uh, um, ordered in alphabetical order all right so we'll do the same thing for user also we'll now tell user that user belongs to many tasks so we'll just do the same thing tasks in the users belongs to many tasks if you observe and you will notice that we've not even really touched this model and we may never even have to touch it the, the join table uh, so we'll look for another join uh, case we have project and user so we said we'll do the same thing for project and user a user has been belongs to many projects a user belongs to many projects oops um why are we seeing an error here just one okay so we'll call it project and um call it project i don't know why uh, my code editor is underlining this this okay we already have tasks oh cool we we'll delete it so this is it. it belongs to many tasks it belongs to many projects okay so if we go straight to projects then we can now tell it that it belongs to many users so what we have here should be belong to many and we call it um just the way this one is and all all the things we've been doing so far we, we made a mistake in the name here so if you look at the way this this folder is organized you see that our models is not a folder here if you decide to put all your models inside a folder called model then you can actually use model but the way it is we have an, a folder called app then we have our model files outside just pasted on it so we don't need model all these models name we don't need it but in your own case you can just create a folder called models and copy and paste it so just go through all your models and make sure you don't make that mistake as in these ones that I have models um, all mistakes so fix them in your in yours and um, everything will work out just fine everywhere you see model you just fix it so in the next video we'll look at another type of relationship where we'll have to uh, declare the relationship for the comments it's called a polymorphic relationship so we'll define it in the next uh, video for now, I'm just going to clean up all my models, make sure that everything uh, is structured well. Everything. Okay, cool. Company code and comment. All right. So, see you in the next video where we'll define the mock to many uh, in this. All right. And uh, do other cool stuff like create the controllers. Thank you very much.